Hello Grade 6, it's me again, Teacher La Arni. Our lesson for this week is about colloids and their characteristics. That is under Module 1, Lesson 5. But before we start, be sure that you have with you your module, your paper, notebook, and your ball pen. Hep, hep, hep! Are you ready now? After going through this module, you are expected to identify the types of colloids. Let's have this simple activity. Arrange the jumbled letters to get the correct answer. Kaya't nasa wun, or nusum da giti nagbabaliktad a letra, tapno maalam iti umno asong bat na. Let's have the first one. Letters O, L, S. What word can you form using the letters O, L, S? Yes, you are right. The word is Saul. Let's spell Saul. Saul. S-O-L. Saul. Number two. Letters O-C-L-O-I-D-L. -L. What word can you form using the letters O-C-L-O-I-D-L? Very good. The word is colloid. Spell colloid. Colloid. C O L L O I D. Colloid. Next, let us A F O M. What word can you form using the letters A F O M? Very good. The word is foam spell foam foam f o a m foam next letters n i o s m u l e what word can you form using the letters n i o s m u l e Yes, you're right. The word is emulsion. Spell emulsion. Emulsion. E-M-U-L-S-I-O-N. Emulsion. Number five. Letters S-O-L-R-O-A-E. What word can you form using the letters S O L R O A E. Yes, you're right. The word is aerosol. Spell aerosol. Aerosol. A E R O S O L. Aerosol. You will learn the meaning of these words through our discussion. Let us read again these words. Sol, colloid, foam, emulsion, aerosol. Nowadays, we have created a lot of mixtures like foods na dumaduma amakmakan, medicines, agagas, and even industrial materials. Roscas, Tortornilio. They are all made up of mixtures. A variety of products are made up of different mixtures. There are different types of mixtures. One of these is based on the paste of the dispersed substance and on what paste it is dispersed in, like colloids. Anya kaya na sa uwan iti paste. Paste is also termed as state. You still remember the different paces or state of matter, like solid, liquid, and gas. How about this one? Dispersed substance. Ano kaya sa uwan data? Dispersed substance. Kaya nasa uwan, daytay banag a mai waras. It's either solid, liquid, 
or gas. How about this one? Base it is dispersed in or the state of matter it is dispersed in. Anya iti paka i warasana. It's either liquid or gas. Colloids. What are colloids? Colloids are one of the primary types of mixture. It is a type of mixture in which solid or liquid particles are dispersed uniformly throughout a gas, liquid, or solid. Kaya nasa one, they tie kita iti nagtipo na ba nag nga mabalin nga solid or liquid particles nga naiwaras a nasayaat dispersed uniformly kaya nasa uon naiwaras nga nasayaat colloid particles may be seen in a beam of light such as dust in air and a shaft of sunlight. Hmm, deta. Numaranyagan iti silaw. Anya di kita makita yo. Makita yo, deta. Tapok. O, deta mat. Shaft of sunlight. O, te kuma da kay di lugar nga nakasagsangat. Di kweba. Nasa ingat ejay, di ba? Ngam ada iti siwang na wano abot nga pagnaan iti ranyag nga gapo iti init. So, makita yun yata nalawag. To be classified as colloid, the substance in this first space must be larger than the size of a molecule but smaller than what can be seen with the naked eye. Anit kayo nasa awanday ta. Tap nyo ka no may bagam nga da ito ikot colloid, dapat ka no da ito ay banag a maiwaras kat dakdakkel. Ngam, dapat da ito ikot basbasit mat nga amang ka da ito ay makita iti mata. O ure bukbukira dradam. Tay matam ko nakidik kwa nga ure bukira dradam. Hamulat ta nga makita. So, smaller than what can be seen with the naked eye. Bas basit. Dispersed pace is the pace that is dispersed or present in colloidal particle shape. Anya, kaya nasa unita, tatay ko pala ibagpaga, di ba? Dispersed pace. Dispersed state. O, nangyari kita yung state of matter na tayo. Solid, liquid, gas. Dito yung banag a mai waras. It is a component typically present in a relatively small amount. Dispersion medium. This is the substance or solution where the colloidal particles are distributed in. Kaya nasa un, that ay banag a pakai warasan na. It's either liquid or gas. Colloid creates a tindal effect. It is the effect of light scattering in colloidal dispersion. If no light is shown, then it is a true solution. This effect is used to determine whether a mixture is a true solution or a colloid. Anya kayo na sa unda ta, Tindal effect. Salang ko madetoy, te gatas, timplam, ikabil mo iti, nasip ngat a lugar, sa mo flashlightan, at na makita nga ranyag na iwaras nga ranyag na. O kasalan ko ma dito, may kadua nga picture o na iwaras iti ranyag. O that is the Tyndall effect. 
A common method of classifying colloids is based on the pace of the dispersed substance and at what pace it is dispersed. Anyat kay nasa undeta o bing. May bagatay kanon no anya a klase ti colloid data no anya iti pace of the dispersed substance. Kay nasa un, anya ti state na detay banag a mai waras or state of matter na ito ba nag a maiwaras so, ilang ko man solid, liquid wano, gas kun anya iti phase or state of matter iti paka iwarasan na no da ito ikot liquid wano, gas these are the types of colloids number one, sol sol is a colloidal suspension with solid particles in a liquid like blood o ti dara amoy ka di nga ti dara kat adda iti solid part na adamot iti liquid part na so adda tayo tumangkan no ma mayangyangan no maanginan kat adda tayo tumangkan no kwa diba ag buo ang tutukol no kwan o the liquid part iti dara is the plasma while the solid parts are the white blood cells red blood cells and the platelets so solid particles in a liquid another is the gelatin o nakikita yung yata the jelly ace hindi mararamid nga jelly is mixed with water in paburok da so from solid particles in a liquid number two emulsion emulsion is formed between two or more liquids that are immiscible ano kaya na sa unti immiscible that is unmixable or unblendable haan nga ag tipon like oil and water another mayonnaise those are some examples of emulsion what is emulsion again emulsion is formed between two or more liquids that are immiscible saan nga ag tipon number 3 foam foam is formed when many gas particles are trapped in a liquid like beaten egg hindi na batil nga itlog It is an example of foam. Another is the whipped cream. Those are some examples of foam. What is foam? Foam is formed when many gas particles are trapped in a liquid. Number four, aerosol. Aerosol contains small particles of liquid or solid dispersed in a gas. These are the types of aerosol. Number one, liquid aerosol. Liquid aerosol is the aerosol wherein liquid dispersed in gas, like fog, tailinaaw, and clouds, ulap. Number two, solid aerosol. This is the aerosol wherein solid dispersed in gas, like smog. This is the combination of smoke and fog. Tay asok, kentai linaaw, and dust in the air. Tay tapok. Let's check what you have learned. You are going to identify the types of colloids. Number one. Gelatin. What type of colloid is gelatin? 
Yes, you're right. It is sol. The dispersing medium of gelatin is liquid. And the dispersed particle is solid. Number two, paint. What type of collide is paint? Very good. It is emulsion. The dispersing medium is liquid while the dispersed particle is liquid. So both are liquid. Number three, whipped cream. What type of collide is the whipped cream? Yes, you're right. It is foam. The dispersing medium is liquid while the dispersed particle is gas. Number four, smug. What type of collide is smug? Very good. It is aerosol. The dispersing medium is gas while the dispersed particle is solid. And number five, milk. What type of colloid is milk? Very good. It is emulsion. The dispersing medium is liquid while the dispersed particle is liquid. I think you are now ready to answer the following. What I know, page 2. What I have learned, page 8. And assessment, pages 9 to 10. Good luck!